Elta Lambs level two. The Elta Lambs two south south contains a map. Division focusing on human experimentation and other biological testing. The prototype transfers uh, platform is contained in upper research hall. Teleport distance is limited, serving only to test biological red rest. But yeah, welcome everyone back to Doom 3. Now left off, we are at uh, the UEC biological research, and I got here my fidget spinner of death. You can join there, thank you very much. I'm not into falling to death as of now. Over here. Open up the door and then try to make me jump back to my death. This doesn't work on me anymore. Let the bones and that's a skeleton so spooky. I am heavy weapons guy. And this is my new weapon. On two rounds. <laughs> Gotta use some different guns you know, I'm running out of ammo on that one. So I'll take my dinky submachine gun, because what the hell not? Nothing to do here, unfortunately. At least this one works, at least. But first, uh, wait, the elevator really want to poke around. And bathrooms, horror games. Clearly nothing bad could ever happen, right? I don't think so. to ward someone over there. So it's pretty simple. Like that. But I want to do the wrong shitter. <laughs> I like me, I like me submachine gun. Although the real automation have been off, but through it. Me rocket launcher. Some of the other holo small than I thought it would be. Chainsaw the chainsaw actually. Go with the submachine because what the hell not. But it really makes you wonder, right? The doom guys run around with no helmet on his head. You have to throw the top of gas and all. But well, oh well. Yeah, these ones are all good. Level 2 archives. Pretty tiny in the lobby, if you ask me. What then? Damn it, Damn it bastard! And I shut it nothing because my keyboard, my mouse is the keyboard. I love when that happens. I hear the little shitlings around. <laughs> Zombie man no more. It's good enough to leave your bodies around. You need a bit of a sense of direction when you're thinking and whatnot. Liquor? No. The commando. It doesn't matter how much you hope how good you are dodging, he still gets you. Still, we got ourselves a new friend. To read his shit. It's a research science personnel. And the psychotics arriving today. Reminder, Osborne shield box is here. Ben Peterson, new supply coordinator, overburdened. Is released. Psychosis. What if it was psychosis? What if it was... How might I say? What if it was... Demon... This 
is the audiologue of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated October 29th to 145. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia, and I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrist. Oh, shit! All extraplanar participants exhibit signs of mild neuroses within the first 48 hours after returning from their expeditions. Within 72 hours, 75% of patients exhibit extreme signs of paranoid delusion and violence. We have isolated these cases in hopes of finding the pathogen. As yet, we can find no biological contaminants that would lead to such drastic changes in cognitive processing. It seems that whatever this pathogen is, it attacks higher brain functions and only leaves more basal functions in the lower brain stem. We've witnessed that a high percentage of subjects lose ability for rational thought and communication skills, and then the physical changes become evident. Subjects in this group appear to atrophy. Skin pales, muscles become slack. Bone, teeth, and fingernails become almost translucent veiny sinews of their former self. I have never seen anything like this in my career. Our observations continue. There's still some more of him, actually. There's a Steve Jensen. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated November 1st, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, mm. expired today at 1543 of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is mm. approximately 110 hours after his return from expeditionary missions. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. He was the last surviving member of his outfit. Four other squad mates, who also came back with Private Jensen, expired from injuries suffered on that last mission shortly after their return. Before his death, Private Jensen was heard screaming in both English and other languages. Something about demon hordes feasting on our souls. The other language was later discovered to be Aramaic. Due to security concerns in the area, I've secured some armaments within my office. I well, didn't set the code, goddammit. That doesn't matter. Making progress, Marine? Your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul will be mine. We'll see about that. Creepy Betruger. It. We'll see about that then. Shot my grenade. The sound of the quake too, which is many guns, doesn't it? Oh, that got him. Give me some more ammo belts as well, too. Actually, got quite a few of them, actually. Personal records, storage, research labs, they're all locked down. Kinda. Yeah, this was locked out. Hmm. What? Who's there? 
You're not one of them. I thought everyone else was gone. I... I was part of this. I helped them. The madness of opening to another dimension. Look, I, I don't... We don't have much time. Mm -hmm. We let it through. The evil. The protective stabilizer on the portal just failed after Petruger took the device. It, it was an artifact we had found in the ruins. He took it into the portal. And hell followed him out. You have to help me first. I'm going to try to get the teleporter systems running again. The areas are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need to get the teleporter working. You can look for it in operations. I have a security clearance. I'll unlock some doors for you. There. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry. Thank you. I'll take it, thank you very much. There's a new email. Personal. Soul Cube. Look at the Soul Cube for two weeks now. Fascinating. As it turns out, some amazing properties with a glyph. And Soul Cube is, by every definition, a weapon built to repel whatever creatures invade the ancient culture. Interesting. I'll go over there in a bit. Oh yeah, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna poke around and see what I can find over here. Never mind then. Decontamination process started. Sure, take your time, I don't mind. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Usually when you get tons of ammo like this, it uh, means there's a boss battle nearby. Or sure it's unable to walk on destination. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. So much for looking for food over here, right? Shoot him too, but nah. I'll spare him for now. Never mind. Close. Never jump on someone with a shotgun, I'd say. Alright. Oh, the other one again. Research labs. I don't know, let's go to research labs. Sure. I a zombie body laid down so I can. I the zombie little feast on him. Get down. I mean, then again, I know he was cutting down on some weight, but... I don't think like your buddy, you should eat some mass of yours either. Way to go. Hello. Hot. Thank you, luck on there. Warning. Halon systems active. Access denied. Halon systems. Alright. Let's see what we got here then. Ah, 
course. Oh, they were working here. They were. Not anymore. Good job, I'm going for some secret, but. Oh, motherfucker. Never mind. There. Better fix him. That's good. If we die, I die. Or. Float. Dated November 2nd, 8A, Private Steve Jensen, October 18, 2145. UAC psychologist Dr. Hooper interviewing Steve Jensen, male, age 27. Listen. <clears throat> Steve, can you talk to me about the last few weeks, please? I don't want to talk. Well, I'm here to help you, Steve. I've tried talking. They think I'm crazy. You think I'm crazy. They, your colleagues, aren't doctors. Let me help you. Help? Nothing can help us. Prior sessions over a period of 72 hours reveal rapid deterioration of both physical and mental capacity, with behavior inconsistent with any known patterns. Hmm. The patient was responsive for brief periods and had to be restrained during interviews. Reference interview H-3-2, Private Steve Jensen, October 21st, 2145. Tell me what you see, Steve. I don't want to see it anymore. I don't want to feel it. <clears throat> They'll be here soon, and then you'll see it. Can you talk about what you see? <laughs> what the hell? Steve, patient unresponsive, terminating interview. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia. Hmm. And I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrists back on Earth. Options are quickly dwindling. Options are quickly dwindling away. Yeah, I know. Oh, thank you. A little security hatch. All for myself. Medical report 16-8. Damn. Oh, looks like they got, they got to capture one of the imps. Part even. This one treated his, his head for his leg. Where are the arms? At least this one isn't withering away. Whatever well, patient they were doing surgery on became someone's meal. Hello. Goodbye. More shit laying around. Somewhere. Wow, they knew this pistol so potent. I need to recommend a pistol to deal with, uh. To deal with zombies. More refreshing than smashing them, but. Sure, jump back in. Splendid. Find it. A quick blast ahead is always a quick way to dispatch them. Alright. See how this works. Let's see about number nine. Uh, number nine, goddammit. This real look was well too. It seemed like it's 
just uh, some of these things, you know, are packed out with something. But what is it? I do not know. Fine, they're gonna turn towards me then. Hmm. Well, that's what it is. I will see it for myself. Which is a bunch of a pile of flesh. Looks like there are some eyeballs in it, but I'm not too sure. There's a skull over there. Number seven. Can't see what the other ones hold, but might as well have a look at them. Let's see number seven. You know, this kind of been a bit of a advantage of sorts. Let's see about number seven. And then you can see about the ventilation shaft over there. This door is clearly broken, that's a given. Don't let this thing take any more longer. Hygienic storage bins. Seven on one I chose. And they just go walk up for and then look at it, but some more detail is more needed, I'd say, and pot. Huge uh, humanoid skull, bloody, got a lot of flesh. <laughs> the gums are quite black. These are bloody red. And now we're all too big to be of a human sized skull. You can go through all of them if you wanted to, but I don't think that's quite a logical choice, isn't it? So did number one and number three. Number five and nine appear to be the same thing, but number two doesn't seem like much. Let's see about number three.
Chief Abrams. Ooh, a BFG 9000. Let's code. M. Abrams. You don't know where I'm coming for you. systems deactivated. You can see they trying to lock it down you know, in order to... Oh. Nine, seven, Sweet! Hey, look at that bad boy over there. A BFG cell. A big freaking gun. And it's called... Wait a moment. Abrams, Abrams. So many names over here, kinda. Uh, hold up. M. Abrams, Secure Chief A M. Abrams. Hold on. Michael Abrams. Log number 3072 for Delta Security Chief Michael Abrams, November 15th, 2145. I've just come from the Armament Division where I was issued one of the new BFG 9000 series <laughs> weapons. <laughs> well, they weren't kidding about how much lighter it is over previous prototype models. Won't be so bad carrying this one around. <laughs> Anyhow, for a couple of weeks now, many of the security teams have not been following proper reporting procedures. Not sure if it's the format of the new SIR, so I'll make sure each team is scheduled by training division to get spun up on the new reports. There have been some security issues in the Alpha Labs. I sent a team over to investigate, and now I can't reach them on any comm channel. I guess I'll have to go over there myself. Well, I'm headed over there now. I'll finish the security port in full when I get back. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm gonna leave this BFG locked in my office for now. Please have IT security change my door code to 901. Sure as hell don't need anyone messing around with it. <laughs> Chief Abrams, end of log. Splendid. And there's this baby. The BFG 9000. All to myself. It is mine. Mine or mine. I still carry it around with me in case I run into something big. Like that weird spider thing at the uh, end of the level over there, don't remember no more. Let's see what we've got here. Stop quite a few demons. These demons are too small to waste the BFGM on them. Shit! Guard. Usually I find those guys with guns and chasing me around tactically. I guess 
Not these ones. Phil Wilson. What do we got? Volunteers. Patient workload. Alright. Fascinating. Audio log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, Delta Labs. October 20th, 2145. Today, I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come by, and it isn't difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about demons, pools of blood, real fire and brimstone stuff. At first, I wasn't paying much attention, just doing my job, but the last was Robert Clayton. Now, I met him my first day here. This guy chews up rocks and spits out rabbits as tough as they come. Having to sedate him and drag his drooling body to the isolation, it's really freaked me out. I'm gonna put in for a transfer as soon as I'm able. Hmm. Fair enough. We got Frank Cinders. requested the following is my initial feedback on my first trip through the portal private first class Frank Cinder stated October 15th 2145 I uh, I don't know exactly where to begin obviously I survived the first trip and feel no worse for the wear I, I'm not feeling any of the symptoms reported by the others who have gone in before me but I'm at a point where I'm still trying to process everything Thankfully, the place looks deserted and devoid of any life, but, uh... Thankfully. The flames and heat and stench of the place. It smells of death, decay, and burnt flesh. Tomorrow, we're going back in with some of the eggheads, um, the science division, to start securing forward positions, and we expect to start sending out the mapping droids at the same time. Mapping droids. I feel I must admit on a personal note that I, I, I've got a really, really bad feeling about this. I don't understand what we're doing there or, or, or what we hope to prove. PFC Cinders, signing off. Hmm. Look at storage. Pistol, but they'd be wrong. It's very effective. It's very effective against zombies, nonetheless. I mean, why waste ammo with uh, with why waste good ammo with uh, small friendly zombies? I could use you know something like kind of just collecting dust. Pistol. I don't want to. Ah, shit! I don't want to shoot zombies you know, with this. Just to keep on flailing your hand around. Hmm. But this once it was a very active place, now it's all fucked. Don't you think? Is 
any meal here? Your lunch. Five three eight. Oh, it's one one four. This one was one one twelve. No, one twelve. Shit. One twelve. Splendid. Now things have to go pretty slow over here, I would imagine. the sequence on the machine. I'll take care of the rest. I'm not going with you. Good luck. But before you go, I want you to take something. It's a journal I made about the experiments. Uh, those things. It's all there. It'll explain everything. Get it to someone so this never happens again. Sure, sure. I'll spare this day for now, at least. Decontamination process started. I'm gonna just be a dick and whip out my PDA. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Sure, sure, thank you. But as of now, let's play a bit of video. My name is Ian McCormick. I'm a research specialist stationed on Mars, working for the UAC. My primary job is, or rather was, to assist Dr. Malcolm Petruger in a variety of experiments, though for the past year we've been focusing almost exclusively on teleportation. I don't know if I'll make it out of here alive, so I'm recording this video log to let someone know what happened, and with that knowledge, prevent it from happening again. Initially, the teleportation experiments were amazing. We were creating a new science, and the prospects of it changing our way of life were, well, they were outstanding. I was proud to be associated with such an amazing project and someone as talented as Dr. Petroger. We noticed early on, well, probably before we had completed maybe a dozen successful tests, that there was a variable delay during the teleportation. The objects are broken down at the quantum level, transported, and then assembled. Each stage of the process should have been instantaneous, but it, it wasn't, and we didn't know why. We sent a video drone through and were shocked at the images it sent back. Just a few frames of video right before the drone came back through showed what appeared to be several sets of eyes looking directly at the probe. We had just found a living, breathing creature that was not human. But Truger immediately sent out a request for volunteers. He specifically wanted UAC security force members because he wanted to capture one of these creatures. I've made a 
lot of mistakes, but I am most ashamed of my involvement during the next phase. To get medical clearance to send human subjects through the device, I... I doctored up several of our reports to indicate that we had performed living tissue experiments. I did not regret it at the time, but a few days later, when our third test subject came back, he was chewing off his own fingers. What? It seemed he was clinically insane. We started sending teams in about once every two days. The teams were reporting nightmarish experiences and sightings of things that ultimately made us conclude that the other dimension was not just another dimension. It was hell. And the creatures we were bringing back. Demons. And then Petrugre. He went through the portal himself. I, I don't know what he was thinking. It was an unscheduled trip and he, he just went. And we couldn't stop him. And when he came back, he had changed. Hmm. He sounded and looked the same, but he just... I, I don't know. He was, he was just different. And then he did the unthinkable. He took the soul cube, the device that was discovered in the ruins, into the portal. The portal stabilizers just started to fail, and, and then living hell erupted into the base. Oh, we were stupid for not destroying the portals as soon as we realized what was on the other side. Oh God, forgive me. I blame myself for my part in this. Please, someone, never let this happen again. I'm sorry, Ian McCormick. So, Dr. Retriever is, uh... Alright, so, essentially, Dr. Retriever is, uh, possessed, per se. That's a weird situation. No, I'm just kidding. Systems activated. Teleportation is commenced in T-minus three, two, one. Yay, Vor. Being swallowed up by demons. Now, yeah, still in the same Delta Lab, so... I guess we can still kind of keep any VP on. I'm not gonna leave Bonge close to any of the virus or specimens and all. Okay, looks like this looks pretty much the same area. Burning zombie. Mm. Well, like the zombies, these the scientists were just flesh puppets for Dr. Petruga somehow a bigger role. I think so. Alright. Aft control terminal. Mini gun. Sorry, but my gun's better than yours. Or so 
what I do? Spin my good sister up there. me. I'm glad to see you. I would have hoped they would have sent more than just one guy, though. I've been studying one of the specimens we brought back to see if there's something physiological that would be a weakness, a way to stop them. I found nothing so far. Haven't had enough time. I'm gonna stay here and keep looking. It's the only thing I can do. There are combat supplies in the storage cabinet in the next room. The code is 624. I hope you can use it. I'm gonna stay here and keep working. I'll upload my findings into the database. Huh. Interesting.
he's wearing a hazmat. Still ahead. Ah, this one has his head chopped off. Look, I can't go with you. This is too important for me to leave. Sure. Suit yourself. Okay. complex stasis chambers. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens appear to be carbon-based life forms with extremely high heat tolerances. The epidermal tissue is extremely resilient to abrasion or incision, which is complicated internal studies. Observational studies have shown incredible strength and agility, as well as the ability for some specimens to manifest and control cohesive plasma masses. The method by which these plasma masses are created is yet unknown. It is believed that uh -oh. the specimens possess a rudimentary intelligence and social structure, as was demonstrated during the first tragic expeditions through the portal. While the cost in human life has been great in acquiring these specimens, we hope to one day complete genomic mapping and begin to answer the many questions we have about these entities. About demons nonetheless, but sure. I hope you drown, alright. This one's empty. Welcome to the Delta Complex Stasis Thank you Chamber. Very much. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra dimensional beings, which were Hold on, let me see here. Hold on, let me see here. While little is known Looks about up, their native you. environment, the specimens appear to be carbon based life forms long, uh, long with extremely lives. high heat tolerances. And you all buy pad across your pad. Is extremely resilient to abrasion uh, or incision, which is complicated internal studies. Configuration of 10 eyes provides features of wide incredible strength field of and view. agility, as well as the ability for some specimens to manifest control cohesive plasma masses. The method of the nipple, right? It's on specimen 27. The specimens possess a rudimentary intelligence and social structure, as was demonstrated during the first tragic expedition. That's four on the for a biological study. Researchers are currently studying how this creature is able to manifest through one day complete explosive class protection from its hands. Yeah, I kind of wonder why that is all too. I mean, even his lower torso has been removed too. Iris. Samus? Samus, where are you? I am locked up here to have this weird human looking at me. Get me out of here. <laughs> Reports on the PDA. Sans, this human is performing research on me. I don't want to be here. <laughs> the Revenant. This creature is in the skeleton is visible through the translucent non-solid skin. Despite the absence of any visible muscles, this creature is able to strike close range targets with enormous strength. Two shoulder mount cannons controlled by its nervous system. Alpha this this creature is to find guided propelled missiles. Sans! He knows the secret to my rocket launchers! <laughs> Got like a 
warm. What the hell is this? Specimen 42. Hmm, looks pretty happy, alright. Living dead, partial. Able to perform without recognizable brain activity, this creature has little regard for self-preservation. Though slow movement behavior is aggressive and tenacious. Zombie. Hmm. And what's up with this one? Oh, the warm. Hell like partial. The cranial mass of this bipedal specimen indicates that it that it is one of the largest creatures inhabiting the site. Well, the hell bear it is, but alright. Overpowering the its prey with sheer might, the hell knight is one of the most feared ferocious predators in our researchers yeah. fucking stop yawning you cunt like the imp this creature is able to defend itself at long range with thrown plasma projectiles that's it pretty small gallery Something smaller. And go ahead, eight its eyes. Jacob Sim Stimmons. No audio log. Power out. Now you're presently, we are dealing with several power issues that complex maintenance of four. <laughs> Alright. That's what he was doing down here, wasn't it? Or that. I don't mind. I like the submachine gun. It's pretty cute. It might be a P90. I love the P90. What do I got here? Conveyor. Oh, that one's still alive. Ish. Right, I kidnap one of your kind, and there's nothing you can do. You can ever do about it. Splendid. The main point of getting the plasma gun. Still got another one.
actually... Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Just a few bits and bombs of armor. around Discovered in 2104, located hmm. in a geographic region where UAC researchers have unearthed evidence of a long lost civilization. We know nothing of this civilization other than they existed, and that they were all wiped out in some type of cataclysmic event, according to what we've been able to decode from stone tablets found throughout the ruins. What clues we have been able to piece together reveal a culturally advanced society hmm. whose technology can only be described as mystic. As evidenced by U1 strange characteristics. Oh, Efforts no. to further examine U1 have been futile. Mass spectrometer and radiation scanning methods have failed to provide reliable identification of the molecular makeup of this artifact. Mm. The object cannot be weighed, and in all tests, we've been unable to determine its mass. All attempts to physically manipulate or open the artifact have been met with no success. We also have had no success in deciphering the symbols adorning you one. What we do know is that the thermographic readings are constant, unwavering temperature of 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Our research continues, and we hope that with continued investment and research, we can, one day soon, learn to exploit the technologies that make up you one I believe they might be a payday heist if I'll be something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Three seven two. I knew it. <laughs> Bit of armor. I have the soul cube in hell, and you will you know never find this civilization other than they existed. Never and find it, never find it. Larry Pullman. So he 
was a weapon. This is the audio log of Research Director Larry Bullman, October 19th, 2145. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube-shaped artifact, which some are calling the Soul Cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion the device is some sort of uh, power fluctuation will stop long enough for me to get the most of CP in my mind, but I am sure my theory would be verified. You know, I'll take this opportunity to lodge yet another complaint about the continual power problems. Living in this godforsaken base is bad enough without having to watch the lights flicker constantly. It's just... Well, never mind. Back to the task at hand. What I've deciphered so far is a bit, I must say, disturbing. It seems that when one has possession of the artifact, if one inflicts damage or possibly kills another being, he distracts power from that event somehow. Now, once a certain threshold has been reached, the artifact has the ability to kill anything you attack with it. How you attack with it, I'm frankly not certain, indicating that the artifact is autonomous in some way. Autonomous. To date, I've only deciphered about mm, two-thirds, give or take, of the markings, but my initial glance at the rest of them indicates it harbors some far greater power. As you know, at this time, we have not seen any reaction from the cube, and it has withstood any scanning, abrasion, or other test beyond picking it up and examining it. I suspect that just like the civilization of the structure, and a lock. Shit. Oh well. Hmm, we have seen that. Elizabeth, what? McNeil. Nobody belongs. It was a report. The board. I'm trying to get Dr. Morgan my tricking theory seriously. A matter of policy, commitment. Elliot Swan. Oh. Well, seven to seven to five. All right. This is gonna be handy. And I already forgot. Next destination, Delta Labs Level 3. Hmm. Let's see, it looks like we've already been the way through. But alright. Delta Labs Sector 3 continues an amendment. Alright. And he's 
run off anyways. Because not only did he do what he did here, but he also saw all the fighting. That's a given. Destroy the bridge. Thanks. Access granted. Yes, off. as much as I did and I look forward to the next one so hope to see you guys next time and until then